What's up guys, it's your boy Chaotic, bring you another video, and in this video I am here to unbox the Avermedia Live Gamer HD. <laughs> Alright guys, the reason why I purchased the Avermedia Live Gamer HD 2 is because I've been a Elgato fanboy since the day I started streaming and creating content for YouTube and all the other services that I upload to. Um, I would tell you every day that Elgato was the product you need to buy when capturing gameplay footage or you know plugging up a, a secondary computer to your to your standard recording computer whatever you need to do that required capturing gameplay Elgato was the way to go. Um, but with their update to Game Capture 3.0 in their proprietary software, which is required when when you install any Elgato hardware into your computer, um, I've been running into some issues. I'm going to show you those issues now. This happens every single time, every single stream that I have, every single time I'm trying to record a scene or, or do a playthrough, I get this issue. And it happens when I'm in the middle of a scene, like a gameplay scene with, with intense story. It requires me to start over again and do the scene over or um, go back to a previous save and start all over again. And that's hard to capture your authentic reaction when playing a game when you're getting stuttering and lag like this so I'm going to prove that the software is the problem by getting a software list and driverless capture card um, they it, with the customer su support that I received they didn't believe it was their software they believed it was my hardware so it's the best way to prove them wrong even though their software and hardware is completely different from this not having a requirement on software or drivers will help the issue, I guarantee. So, let's see how it goes. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to notice after you take it out of this out of this little small box that it comes with is the glossy blue box that they package it up in. Already has a nice, a nice design to it. But I'm not here for the design of the box, I'm here for the actual product. So let's go ahead and open this up. Pretty sure after you open this up, it's going to be the capture card, which yes, it is the capture card, which I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Some documents showing you some of their game capture products, which hopefully I won't need another one after this. Um, a 3.5 millimeter. headset um, headset cable you know the typical and a HDMI cable that's it that's all that's in the box it's nothing special let's go ahead and open it up so I can actually show you guys what's inside instead of just showing you packaging um, HDMI cable Three point five millimeter cable. I came here with nothing. And the actual capture card itself. 
so it does look really nice too and it's supposed to give out like a little blue light once you put it in unfortunately i won't be able to show you guys that but that's it that's really inside here i some, put some more documentation it's not really important unless you really want to learn how to put this stuff in the computer so i'm gonna go all toss all this stuff back in because i already have um hdmi cables and stuff from my elgato so we're gonna go ahead and plug up my playstation 4 to the avermedia all right guys so i'm about 30 minutes into my gameplay i have not experienced any stutters any um, recording issues the detail is all perfect um I don't have to do anything with this card. It was driverless, so I didn't need to drive to install any software, which is the problem with the um, with the Elgato software. I got fucked. But yeah. Yeah, so there you have it guys. That's the Live Gamer HD 2. I just played two completely different games with it. Smooth as butter. As far as the capturing goes, I don't have any issues with it. It works great. Um, the biggest issue that I had was that when I was playing, the stream or the video that I'm recording might start to lag as I was playing, which I will show you in a video. Um, this was a big issue for me, especially when I'm creating content. Um, and my primary application is XSplit. Now I'm not having this issue anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.